Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video I will be showing you how to track military aircraft. Most trackers, most popular trackers, um, unfortunately do not track military aircraft. However, there are still ways to get tracking for these aircraft and I have found a couple of them. Um, so there are multiple ways to track these aircraft and uh, I've added in this video a few that I find easy. So yeah, let's get into the video. Enjoy. So I'm sure a large number of you are familiar with the Flight Radar 24 app. Um, this is one of the most popular flight tracking apps and it's the one that I use most myself. Um, it's very good for tracking commercial flights, um, but unfortunately not too good for military flights. Um, so I have found some other trackers that will help you with this. The first and easiest way I have found to track certain military aircraft is with the Plane Finder app. Um, this is very similar to Flight Radar 24, except it does track selected military aircraft. Um, the aircraft I use this for are the Boeing P-8 Poseidons of the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, now, this app will track um, the all of the live P-8 Poseidon flights, or very close to all of them and it will also show playback data for alpha 47001 and alpha 47002 which are both uh p8 sidons of the royal australian air force um unfortunately it does not show playback data for any other um sidons uh from alpha 47003 to alpha 47008 Unfortunately, the Plane Finder app does cost 6 to $7, depending on what software you're using. But um, Plane Finder does have an online browser. Um, and this will also track P8 live flights and historical flights. So search an A47 dash. And if there are any live flights, they will come up here. If not, nothing will come up. So then click on historical flight data at the top of your screen. And then you go to it will come up with most popular flights um you then want to search um in the search bar a47 dash again and it will come up with the list of all the aircraft um now so you can click on any one you want um and the in brow the browser will not show playback data but if you have the app downloaded this will give you direct um a direct shortcut to the app to view it and this data can actually not be usually viewed from the app itself this is the only way i know to get it so you want to just allow it to open the app um you will need to have the app downloaded for this um luckily i do have this um unfortunately when i tried this it didn't work i did have a little bit of a fiddle with it um so then you meant you click on playback here and uh it just comes up with an error message so not so not not an error message but just no data here this app is the best app I've found for tracking military aircraft and it is called Open ADSB and it is another flight tracking app. Um, so this app will track nearly all military aircraft um, and it also has filters which really help. Um, so to get to the filters, click on the little filter logo in the bottom left and then just switch on military and then click save. Um, you'll have to give your f um, filter a name. I've just called mine that and it will come up with all military aircraft it tracks. Now, unfortunately, this app can be a little slow at times, but uh, as you can see here, I am tracking a Royal Australian Air Force King Air. Up here is a Royal Australian Air Force Airbus KC-30A, and um, unfortunately, it wasn't working at the time of recording, but um, you can go up to all um, different countries and track different military aircraft. It also does work as a regular flight tracker, but I think other f trackers such as Plane Finder and Flight Radar work better just because they're that bit quicker. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, these are all the military aircraft up in Europe. Um, French Air Force A310s, US Air Force KC-135s. Um, so yeah, most continents will have tracking for military aircraft here. Um, so yeah, this is very, very useful. And yeah, so... I find this the best app to use for tracking military aircraft. So I would like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope it has been useful. 
And yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.